I'm a writer, a performer, an educator. Um, a British-born Israeli. Um, I, I, I guess I have to admit that I'm now at a certain age that I'm clearly never going to settle in one place. It may be that I enjoy being on the on the bridging lines um, and doing some form of communication translation from one experience to another experience or, and so living on the edges or on the fences I guess is where I'm comfortable. The fence between education and arts, the fence between kibbutznik and non-kibbutznik, the fence between Israeli and non-Israeli. A man comes for a job interview, he's late, he's very late, he's 35 days late for his job interview he wants the job of being uh, somebody who spends a year or two outside of Israel persuading people that they should live in Israel. He's got two problems. A, he has to explain why he was so late. And B, he wants to prove to them that the most important quality that he has is that he's very funny. He's got a good sense of humor. The problem is that the reason why he's so late is because he was terribly and tragically involved in a suicide bombing. So the entire show is him in an interview trying, at the one, uh, trying to be funny and trying to tell them the story of him getting caught up with somebody being blown up. Um, and along the show is a tragedy. We see a tragedy unfold of somebody who loves Israel and is finding it really hard to see past the blood. But this particular show... Uh, emerges from work which I did with a, a director called Peter Lilly, who ran a workshop, actually she ran the workshop in Israel, um, called The Dark Clown. Uh, and she developed this uh, a very, very strange and disturbing kind of uh, uh, skill where the, the red-nosed clown um, will slip on a banana skin and everybody will laugh and so he'll do it again because he wants them to laugh and he'll do it again because three times is funnier than, than two. And the, the dark clown um, slips on the banana skin, we laugh, and when he gets up we realise he's actually broken his leg, and is in terrible pain. But because he's a clown he will slip on the banana skin again, and he will do it skillfully such that we will laugh, but we'll feel really bad about it. Um, and, and that's the style of this show, it's making people laugh and feel somewhat implicated in the pain.